Cheers! Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie Bitches! bitches. Oh. <laughs> Retro Review, episode 24! So to continue our Shocktober celebration, tonight we're reviewing Hello Mary Lou, Prom Night 2. <laughs> Hello Mary Lou, Prom Night 2. I also felt I needed to bring this movie to the world's attention. Oh my god. I mean, was I wrong? Yes I and was. no. Yes and no. Yes and no. And no. Yes and no. Then what are you saying? I'm saying no. But I'm leaning towards yes. This movie is bonkers banana pants. Yes. Yeah. But also kind of great. I find it to be very entertaining. I oh, mean, yeah. it's a bad movie. Yeah. But like, it's pretty great. I mean, it was pretty entertaining. Right? It was pretty entertaining. I mean, and you haven't sat through like the worst of the garbage, garbage horror movies. No. This is, this is a little, something a little special. Okay. This is special. Oh boy. It's the sequel to Prom Night. And then they did a remake of Prom Night oh. with um, Jeremy Sisto, I want to say. Huh? Or someone that, no, Jonathan Skeech, asshole from That Thing You Do. Oh, okay. But the funny thing about Prom Night 2, Hello uh, Mary Lou, oh my God. was originally written, conceived, and filmed as The Haunting of Hamilton High. Oh. Samuel Goldwyn just bought it and just renamed it to make Prom it a sequel. Two. Interesting. Like, it wasn't it was written not to, supposed be to be a sequel. It was just fun. like, prom, it's prom, okay, right. great, let's just slap Prom Night 2 on it, it'll be great. Great. Smart. Yeah, probably. It probably, I mean, like it probably more helps. people probably saw exactly. it because of that. I think one of the actors is in all of the prom nights for some reason. Oh. The um, nerdy guy, Potato. Really? For some reason, I think he's in all of them. He seemed like he was from a Disney Channel original movie. Like he's the annoying younger brother. Yep. He's like yeah. the nerdy, yeah. goofy, weird friend yeah. who like pines over the popular girl, but she ends up with like the yeah. hot boy. And he may or may not come out. Yeah. <laughs> Later in life. Later in life. Pretty much. Is it a fruit? No. Nailed it. I'm enjoying this witch's brew. We made some witch's brew. Because we mm -hmm. felt like it. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a full goblet. <laughs> I, just, I, I had to bring out Winona Jug for this movie. Mm. I'm excited to talk about it. Oh my gosh. So Prom Night 2, Hello Mary Lou, starring... First billing, Michael Ironside, who's barely in the movie. I mean, he's not barely, he's in it. He's not the lead. No. So it's billing. billed as like, because he's the only name. Yeah. I was like, that's a famous person, right, Avril? Right? Yeah. I know that name. Yeah. 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 Cool. He was in um, Turbo Kid. Oh, yeah. That's what you would probably know him from. Probably. But he's also in a lot of other things. I really liked Turbo Kid. It's great. Yeah. So it starts, yeah. we're in a church. I disobeyed my parents many times. I've had impure thoughts many, many times. times. I've taken the Lord's name in vain many times. Many, many times. times. I've had sinful relations many times. With boys. Many, many boys. boys. <laughs> many times. <laughs> so good. And I loved every, every second, second of it. it. I loved every minute of it. For a good time, I call, call Mary, Mary Lou. Lou. Not sure that a uh, confessional booth is the best place to leave your number for a good time. I mean, I guess sure sinners, like, oh, you're tempting them again back into sin. But it's like, is she it... She just, well, Mary Lou just revels in it. Pushing people's buttons. Yeah. She just revels in oh, it. Oh, yeah. I love Mary Lou. Do you? Don't you? She's such a fabulous cunt. And she's insane. I mean, she's a little too insane for me, I think. Yeah, But, yeah. you know, sure. Parts of her are fun. I love Mary Lou until she gets burned alive. Spoiler alert. Oh, well I would definitely, I think, go watch this movie. If you like horror movies, if you like cheesy horror movies. It's not lot, scary. It's not scary. There's a lot of ideas. Yes. There's a lot of creativity. Sure. There's yes. a lot of things that are very different and you're like, what is this nonsense? Like it's, there, I was reading old reviews and somebody, a couple of the positive ones were like, it's the blue velvet of high school horror movies. It has a Lynchian vibe. Sure. I'm not saying it's as good in any right. way, but it has a vibe of like, everything's a little weird. Weird. And, but interestingly yes. so. Yes, I'm yes. I'm intrigued by what's going on because what is this? Enjoying the prom? Not much. You? The music's too loud. I fully give you all of that. Yeah. For me, the biggest problem that held it from achieving like a 
a recommendation, a wholehearted recommendation, yeah. is that the directing is bad to the point where more often than not, I was just confused. And I kept saying, I think the phrase I said the most was, what was this scene? What's this shot? <laughs> What was supposed to, t what's that telling me? I don't know. I find that more entertaining than you. Yeah, I when think so. When movies are confusing and a mess, I'm like, ah, uh, what's going on? What's this? Because I know that I don't really need to get into the plot. You know what I mean? Like, it's already a silly movie. Sure. So I'm not like, this doesn't make sense. You know, I'm just like, well, this is bananas. Yeah, what was that? What was that edit? <laughs> okay, now we're here. Now great. we're here. Oh, now we're here. Great. Oh, now we're here. Okay, great. I'm not putting it on the level of Sleepaway Camp oh, anyway, no, 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 no. but I'm just saying, I think this movie has a lot going for it, and it's sure. kind of a little gem. It's fun and It's weird. a fun little watch. There's, it's not, it's, it's harmless. There's stuff to talk about. Oh, yeah. There's so much to oh, talk about. Oh, there's a lot to talk about. So I would say, pause, go watch. Yeah. For me, at least. Prom, 1957, and everyone looks like they're 45. Yep. And um, <laughs> you get Mary Lou yeah. and her stick-in-the-mud boyfriend. Oh, yeah. Go get me some punch. Oh, my God. And okay, stay right here. <gasps> She's gone. Have you seen Mary Lou? Uh, she went behind the stage with Cooper. When did you guys break up anyway? I didn't. There were multiple directors. There was reshoots. There was like a things that were added in later. Interesting. To make it more prom night huh. related. And I do think that they love horror movies. Sure. There's a lot of things in here that are referencing other things or just playing with the genre mm -hmm. and... I think it has more layers okay. than maybe people would give it credit for. But she's making out yeah. with Cooper. Yeah. And I love there's a wall of hellfire and flames. Oh, behind right behind them. them. Because A, they're Damnation. sitting, and B, yes. it's foreshadowing for what's to come. Yeah, love it. Her boyfriend catches them. <gasps> How could you? Yes. So he goes into the bathroom to have a little cry. Yeah, he has to have a moment. We're just having a good cry, Beth. <laughs> Hey, Beth, we're just having ourselves a little cry. <laughs> and that creepy teacher comes in. The weird teacher. Oh, hi. This was where I was like, and then they fucked in the bat. It was like real weird where it's like, yeah, so the prom can be real bummer, huh? We should hang out in the bathroom together, <laughs> us men together, <laughs> you know, because we're different than them hanging out in the prom. We like to be alone in the bathroom. What? It was like weird. This rock and roll will never last. Oh, right, but so then we find out that these other kids were gonna set off a stink bomb. Yeah, it looked like a cherry bomb. It did look, I was like afraid, I thought it was gonna accidentally blow up the whole place, but oh. it was just a stink bomb, I guess. It was just a stink bomb. And he has the ultimate revenge. Right as she's gonna get crowned prom queen, he's up in the, in the catwalk. He's up in the rafters. Yeah. They call Mary Lou Maloney prom queen. And she gets up and her winner's stance of just, just, oh. Yes, I'm the queen. Everyone bow to me. I'm Mary Lou Maloney. Oh she yes. stands she stands like Mary Martin's Peter Pan. Yes. Just like huh. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, 100%. Like, Never mind the stupid cape on head. Just give me the crown. Don't even worry. Just give me the crown. Oh just give me the tiara. Me, yeah, forget the cape. Just give me the tiara. <sighs> Here's a question. Yeah. If she had taken the cape, mm. could it have prevented the fire? Or would it? Would she have died even sooner? No, I think she could have taken it off. Ooh. You know what I mean? So her, her, it's her fault. Well, all right. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. <laughs> he did throw a lit yes. flame at her taffeta dress, and it lands just close enough to her highly flammable dress. Oh yeah. Catches her dress immediately aflame. Oh yeah. Oh, I mean, those dresses are very flammable. Are they? Oh it's yeah. It's like a matchstick. Yeah. Like, bam. Wow. Yeah. Seems dangerous. Yeah. Like a poor choice to put on your body. Yeah. You know, it happens. Like, sure. Didn't Longfellow's wife die in a horrible fire because she couldn't get her like huge bustle off because she stood too close to like the <gasps> not the radiator but like like the, the flame. Equivalent. Oh yeah. my god, I had no oh, idea. Yeah. She like couldn't get out of her outfit because it was all it's all laced up. Corset and shit. I think that happened. Yikes. Bummer. Close to home. I mean, not really. But <laughs> oh, are you a great great descendant of Longfellow? Nope. <laughs> Is it really personal for you? <laughs> was it too soon, Andrew? <laughs> Shut up.
she is like a Roman candle, a, just a lit. I mean, it was it was pretty terrifying, but yeah. also, girl, well, stop, drop, and, yells and at roll. Him. He goes, what are you doing? Stop, drop, and roll. She's just like, ah. And then everyone else, there are hundreds <laughs> of people around. Ah. Well, this was, at the time, the longest fire stunt in existence. Wow. And you can tell, because it looks good yeah. and terrifying. Yeah. Like, she's on fire for a while. Yeah. <laughs> and they keep cutting. You're like, oh my god, so, someone save her! Save somebody the people! Help, save somebody her. help the people! Help the people! And her prom date is up in the rafters, just, oh, Mary Lou! Try to get to her, no! Someone, no! And then her sexy makeout date is like, no! He has like a cape and he's just like And then he gives up. There's like teachers and wouldn't someone know like it was crazy. Someone go grab the fucking punch. I don't know. But what if someone spiked the punch? What if it was witch's brew? It's <laughs> this could set a flame. Oh my god, she's a flame, and then we get introduced to the costume trunk. The haunted costume oh trunk. And then there's a time jump that's unexplained. Unexplained. And it was confused for a, a, a little while. Where are we? Where is this? When is this? <laughs> We're introduced to our actual main character, Vicky. Yeah. And he was like, is that her sister? What yeah, happened? What? Oh no, we've jumped 30 years. <laughs> I mean, couldn't you tell by her hair? Oh God, her hair. You couldn't tell. It Can we talk amazing. about her hair for the rest of the reveal? I mean, yes. Oh boy. Oh my I God, mean, it's, it's so bad. So long. Yep. She looks like Carol Kane often. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. You know, from When a Stranger Calls. A braid here, yeah. maybe a braid over here. Sometimes, sometimes. Just never brushed. Never, like she hasn't seen or used or heard of a brush. It was that time period when if your hair was long, that's all it needed. So we get a time jump, yes. introduced to Vicky. Yeah. And her, and her mom and her dad. There's so much going on in this house. Yeah. The mom is this like nurse ratchet, overbearing, religious. I mean, she's basically the mom from Carrie. Like, yeah. I think that's what they were going for. And the dad is just the most whipped character in film history. I mean, right? How much do you think you'll need? She won't need anything. I still co-sign the checks. Two. I still co-sign the checks. Right. Your green dress is fine. We never see this infamous green no, dress. No, we don't. There's so much talk. She goes to the costume. I mean, oh boy. You know what I was just thinking of? I feel like maybe we should retro review the episode of Boy Meets World that I love, <laughs> which is the horror episode. In because I thought it was Hamilton High, but they, maybe they go to John Adams High. Mm. There's like this song like, "Welcome to John Adams High, where you are gonna die, death." is on the menu. It's really stupid. But anyway. I love that you know the whole time. Oh yeah. Welcome to John Adams High, where you are gonna die. I kind of want to watch it with you and have you explain all of the references to me. Sure. Because I'm sure that I don't get 83% of them. I can do it. We can't talk about her hair and not talk about her pants. Her like wedgie the, camel toe. It's a front and a back wedgie, yet they're loose slacks with pleats. High waisted cargo. Oh boy! And then you're like, oh, these are the worst pants I've ever seen. Ever seen. And then later, same pair of pants in like a salmon pink. Yeah, I think they might have just taken the same pants and dyed them. Just put them in the dryer with a red sock. Yeah. Oh no. Oh uh, shit. Can we talk about the Canadian accents? Oh my god, can we talk about the accents? They really come and go. They really do. That was what was crazy it, like, about it. it, it the, the normal. Oh my oh. god, they're Canadian. Like it really sticks out. No way. We're gonna go tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not even doing it justice. You and I at the prom together? No. Wait. It <laughs> sticks out it's like <laughs> such a sore thumb. Especially Potato Guy. When I began this experiment, they laughed. Just as you're laughing now. He said, Josh, Potato? It'll never work. Potato? Are you crazy? That'll never work. He's making a, a AM, FM radio, yeah. doing just showboating, being yep. that like theater kid that's just like, yep. I'll bullshit my way through the science class. The potato. The potato. Nature's perfect vegetable, rich in AM, FM, and carbohydrates. I think one of the best lines of the movie, where Vicky is talking to her best friend, 
And she's like, oh, I don't have a date for prom, and oh nobody God. likes me, and what am I going to do, and oh my gosh. Excuse me, Monica. Could I speak to you after school? Get lost, asshole. So why don't guys ask me out? <laughs> Get lost, asshole! <laughs> yeah, that... <laughs> why don't guys ever ask me out? That line wasn't quite my favorite. No, it's just up there. Because there's another one that's my favorite that we will talk about shortly. You shut your fucking mouth, bitch! bitch. <laughs> you shut your fucking mouth, bitch! Yes. That one. So then we meet her, like, weirdo friend. We meet Joan Cusack from... Basically. <laughs> from Working Girl. Oh my god. Not mad. I was like, yes, jazz with these layers and layers and layers. layers. It was good. It was an outfit. It was, like, often where in this movie the extras looked more interesting oh. right there was like a lot of extras like oh what's oh, going on with you yeah. you have to like, like there's that one style. guy and like yeah there's like some there was yeah. like real punk rock people uh -huh. in the background uh -huh. and i would have liked to have explored that that a little more because i find them more interesting but instead we get kelly yeah oh my god you guys i have to tell you about my prom dress it's real like spanish style oh my god. <laughs> i have to tell you guys about my dress oh it is awesome it is totally awesome it's it's sort of Spanish. Oh, Kelly. Such a bitch. Such a bitch. You know what was frustrating about this movie for me mm. was that, this is going to sound strange, but I wish this movie was a little longer. Mm. And I wish this movie had done a better job of setting up the high school dynamic. Uh -huh. Setting up the characters. Who are they? Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Like, I wanted a little bit more She's All That yeah. that takes a turn. Oh, no. Oh, my God. It's She's All That, but she needed prom dress. Right. And then unleashed holy hell amongst yeah. everyone. You know, like, all she needed was a makeover. And exactly. Then, <gasps> oh, what? no. Oh, she took those overalls off and oh no. Yeah. Makeover from Hell. That's a good movie. Uh, it's like, huh. I, I, I already. Then you'd think it was like a bad makeover, but it wasn't. Exactly. The makeover <laughs> from Hell. From Hell. Where it's literally a demonic makeover. Love it. So Vicky needs her prom dress. She goes down to the creepy costume basement. Yeah. This was weird. <laughs> I mean,. I love me a well placed mirror in a horror movie, and there's just a lot. It was like slow building tension. Mm -hmm. You know, there wasn't like, done, you know, just just Ooh. walking through. Oh, what's, oh this? what's this? Oh, here's a blue oh, dress. I, I should probably this. use Is this. Something creepy gonna happen? You know, I, I like that it took its time in this, and then she finds the trunk. The trunk and She really takes some effort to pry it open. Oh, she basically has a crowbar, right? Yeah. Pries it open. And the picture shatters, right? Uh, Mary Lou's right. really horrifically photographed yeah. her photoshopped head. <laughs> and this is when we find out that Michael Ironsides, who's the principal now at yes. the same school, yes. was in fact the guy who killed Mary Lou back back in the day and was apparently not prosecuted. I mean, I guess he did really kill her. It was an accident. It was involuntary, but it was not he did. murder, it was manslaughter. Sure. But I feel like he wouldn't get a job at this school. Uh, no. But also, wouldn't you get the fuck out of that town? Right? Why would you want to be at the school where you involuntarily manslaughtered because your girlfriend? That was another life, Andrew. That was another life. We're different people now. So why don't we forget about it, okay? I do have questions about him. Yeah. So he, we find out, is the main lady's boyfriend's dad. Yes. Yes. Craig, Craig's dad. Yes. So where is Craig's mom? She died. Was she also under murdered? mysterious circumstances? Thank you. I feel like we're not focusing on him enough. Yeah, I want to get into it. We need to find out the answers. <laughs> where are the bodies? We had the early reveal that, in <laughs> fact, he is her date. Yes. And that the guy she was making out with and cheating on him uh -huh. with is, is now a priest now a in priest the town. Is Father Cooper? Yeah. And we find, we find, I found that to be early, just like pacing wise. I was like, oh, that would have been a nice middle of the movie reveal. Sure, and sure. I, oh, you know. Yeah, particularly if it was like, mm, yeah, this movie could have been reworked in ways that would have made it better. Yeah. I would have liked if, yeah, the reveal were later. And if, like, let's say she says to her boyfriend, I feel like I'm being haunted by this Mary Lou or whatever. Right, and they're right. like, what the fuck? Who's Mary Lou? Should have been a scene where, and, you know, I don't know. It's, she said she's from 1957. And yeah. he goes, oh, my dad, maybe he knows. Maybe remember. my my dad will know who Mary he Lou is. He tells the story. Oh, I don't want to talk about that. Oh, yeah. oh, I can't. Oh. And you see it in his eyes. How did you like, hear that name? Yeah. <gasps> and then you see the flame, like, yes. a, like you know, reflected in his yes. eyes. And then it's like flashback. And yeah. you're like, oh, bitch. Yeah. It was him. Yeah. yeah. And then he tries to like shoo-shoo it away. Yes. And then he's more complicit. Yes. 
Yes. See, that'd be so much better. That would have been better. Fixed it. Not Joan Cusack is going to go to, I just have to go to this annual doctor's appointment my mom makes me go to. It's like stupid, whatever, don't worry about it. Bye, see you later in art class. So what are you going to the doctor's for anyway? It's just some dumb checkup. My mom makes me go every year. Okay, see ya. Okay, see ya. And we get to art class, everyone's talking about prom queen and prom oh, yeah. queen. Oh, blah, 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 blah. oh my god. Think... Which, this makes me think, cause like, when you look at Vicky, the main character, she's She's cute, but you wouldn't think, oh, she's running for prom queen necessarily. Nope. Like, if you're casting this movie, Not in right? a million years. So, it's weird that presumably they're all popular, and Kelly's just the most popular. Like, yeah. that's what the movie's sort of telling it's us. Sort of. Then at some point, it's sort of implied that Jess was also running for yeah. prom queen. And I'm like, well, what's Why? this now? Yeah. Like, in 87? No. What? You know so what it mean? was 87. So it was 30 years later. Yeah. Okay, so like this is what I would have liked. Okay. A little bit more clarity mm -hmm. 30 years later, right? And then I sure. also would have liked maybe Vicky is on the prom committee. Yep. Doing the decorations. Doing the grunt work because all. she's not popular. Exactly. Right? A few weeks beforehand, they're coming up with themes and they say, why don't we do 30th anniversary? Love it! And they're like, let's go down to, to the, 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 the costume base. Or like the, you know, the, the let's go find archives. The, the haunted costume trunk dimension. They open up this trunk and that's when they find out that 30 years ago, right. someone, the prom queen died, set a flame. <gasps> But also like, ooh, creepy, cold, yeah. oh, it ooh. shivers, oh, ooh. oh, the flame went out somewhere, cold. you know, whatever. Oh my god, the picture broke. Who lit the black flame? flame. Oh, no! Oh, no! Yeah. Right? I like it. And that's when she gets possessed by Mary Lou, mm -hmm. and now she becomes popular. popular. And then Goes Kelly gets head. jealous because uh -huh. why is Vicky all of a sudden so different and popular? And she had a makeover and now she's like slutty and you know, whatever. And it's like, what's happening, right? I like it. The boyfriend is like, what? Who are you? I don't even know you anymore. You know, like, put in sugar in your coffee. Right? You take sugar in your coffee. No, that stuff will kill you. Vicky. Maybe Vicky murders Jess, the, the <gasps> art friend. Why? Because she's possessed. Love Jess. I know, well, sure. Love Jess. So we'll talk, okay. I also think we need to talk about how, in many ways, I feel like this movie is very feminist for a horror movie. I mean, the main villain is a, is a woman. Like, sure. there's a lot of, like, things going on. Last person who wore this stuff died. Oh, I really hope you win, Kelly. <sighs> who gives a shit? Who even cares anymore? Ugh. Jess walks off. Oh, what's wrong with Jess? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. She went to the doctor. Do you think something's wrong? Yeah. Oh, Let me go check. Everything okay? Let me go check on her. The movie stops. Yeah. To have a pretty, I feel, poignant, successful yeah. scene where it's all one shot. It's a long pan in where Jess explains that she met this boy that she really likes. And, and she now, thought really liked him, her and she too. She thought he really liked her too, and now he won't, he won't answer, answer the phone. Well, he sounds like a jerk. You should just forget him. Well, I he can't. left me with something that I can't forget. <gasps> and they have a whole conversation about teenage abortion and um, teenage pregnancy, and like, what should I do? And it's just like a full moment that they yeah. take, that yeah. they like take yeah. in the movie. And I was like, okay, movie. Yeah, I guess I got some choices to make. Like, they I heard, absolutely could have cut that scene. Absolutely. And it didn't, you know what I mean? But I'm so glad it's in there. Yeah. I like that Vicky wasn't like, oh, well, you have to keep it because, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, it yeah. Was, it wasn't like all religious, even though everything else was religious. Everything else was religious. Although it wasn't actually, like, what was interesting to me was how much of a farce the religion was. That's why I find it interesting. Yeah, yeah because the mother is so religious and it's, like, absurd. Yes. And the priest is religious, but it's all fake. And I, you know, and religion I, won't save you exactly. from your past. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. I mean, there was yeah. a lot of good themes. There were. There were. It was, going it was, on. I agree. But anyway, they take this full minute to mm -hmm. have this emotional scene, and you're like, yes, Jess, I love you. You're great. Oh, no. Oh, no, not Jess. Oh, no, no, Jess, don't pry that gem out of the crown. Don't fuck with Mary Lou's tiara. No, you do not. Her pretty, pretty princess. Oh, my God. Right. Plastic tiara. Plastic tiara. That was also part of the problem for me, was just like the motivation of Mary Lou was confusing. Well, at times you were like, yes, bitch, revenge. 
revenge. Fuck them. And then you'd be like, oh no, just because she touched your tiara. Oh no. Yeah. That was like, yes. sometimes it was petty and yeah. sometimes it was like, yeah, fuck them. Yeah. Can we talk about her whole motivation now, even though it's going to spoil some stuff later? Sure. Okay. I mean, I do want to get into Jess's death scene. Oh, we will. Okay, great. But like, because for me, the problem was how she decided who died. Yes. Later on, she full on zombies out of Vicky's chest. Oh, we're just spoiling it. Okay. I mean, this was great. Oh my god, it's crazy. Crazy. The just special this... effects oh, yeah. look great. They really did. Like, there's some stuff in here that I'm like, damn, that yeah. looks sickening. That's true. It's sick and, and sickening. sickening. <laughs> yeah. So she, like, you know, zombies <laughs> out of her stomach. <laughs> but then it, it seems like as she kills more and more of these teenagers, yeah. she absorbs their life essence. She starts and, to like de-burn. And, and, and comes back to comes life to the life. way she was. Yeah. I would have liked that. If it had been more clear like a, I'm the fairest of them. Exactly. Like, more like this is her goal. Yes. And, yes. and she knows that this is what she has to do to achieve said goal. Exactly. It's then muddy. it would have been... Her motivations are muddy. Exactly. Sometimes it's just because you touched the tiara, and sometimes it's for 30 years of revenge. Revenge, and sometimes it's just so that she can look pretty again. I'm confused. But yeah, so poor Jess made the mistake of, of checking I mean, one of the many boxes that will cause Mary Lou to kill you. This death scene is great. She puts on the cape, she's fiddling with the tiara mm -hmm. Ooh! suddenly the shredded paper the wind starts to yeah. come and this all of a sudden dr strange is there yeah dr strange's cape is there they do a really great fake out this huge paper cutter yeah. falls onto the ground <gasps> and <laughs> oh god no i don't want to see your head cut. get cut off oh no and and the cape is pulling her closer right. and closer, and it's like so scary. I mean, you know, it's like, oh no, yeah, oh no, don't do that. And it totally pulls the rug out from under you and hangs her from the rafters and starts choking her. And you're like, oh my god, what is this? And then it throws her out the window. I want to know what that police report said. Right. The autopsy must just be like, she was strangled to death, but then also threw herself out the window. Didn't you hear? Jess killed herself. Oh my god. Did you hear? School's canceled today because Kurt and Ram killed themselves in a repressed homosexual suicide pact. No way. The scene was so much. <laughs> oh god. Poor Jess. A poor J I missed her, I'll be honest. I, honestly. I was sad that yeah. she had to go. Yeah. She had to go. Oh, she had to go. Oh, oh. If it had actually been junkie sex, holy shit. Holy shit, then I really would have missed her. Oh my god, right? Oh, then, no, that would have made me angry for the rest of the movie. The, oh my god, remember when they, so they're at Jess's funeral, and yeah. then uh, Vicky goes, she has a, a, a wandering thought, or a, a voice that draws her to Mary Lou's grave. Right. There's no real explanation. Just, no. She's oh. like, oh, I'm in the cemetery. Yeah, I should go oh, to Mary go Lou's wander grave. Around. And then there was like baby crying orgy demon sound. Like it was there was weird. a there was, was a like, whole oh, cacophony yeah, of yeah. of ah, ooh, like ooh, ever, ooh, 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 ooh. and then yeah, it was just like. Yeah. Ah. What's going confused. on in purgatory? A little confused. What's going yeah. on in purgatory? Sure. sure. I mean, I guess, don't they say that, like, babies often end up in purgatory? Because That's why you're supposed to like... baptize them when they're born. Right, because of what I... Yeah, okay. So maybe... Wow, is, that, is this movie that deep? I don't know. Are they saying that, like, she's down there with all the babies? Because she's... Oh, uh, that's where the baby sounds. Do you think it's that deep? And the slutty orgies. And who knows what else? I don't know. I don't know. I hope so. Sure. Yeah, but so then Mary Lou, through the grave site, can just possess Vicky? I think it's because she opened the trunk. And like, it's sure. slowly, she's gaining power. And okay. then gaining more control over her. Sure. I wish she had touched the gravestone. Yeah. So there was like some sort of like, oh, and then it like, you know, and then maybe she, <gasps> oh. right? Maybe she touches it and then... <gasps> That's the first time when she goes into the other dimension. Yes. Oh, like she oh. see. Yeah, she like. <gasps> yeah. Where am I? That would have been good. And then yeah, she like, takes it off and goes. Oh. Yeah, she touches it. Like it turns dark and there's a thunderbolt or whatever. You're like ah. I took it out. You know, like ooh, bizarro world. Okay, we're back here. That'd have been good. Would have liked that. Do you haven't seen any horror movies? No. Thanks. Just naturally gifted.
Well, so we're at your favorite line. Oh my god. So Kelly is just being such a bitch about being prom queen and she's just like campaigning all over the place. The competition seems to be dwindling. You two should take the hint from Jess. You shut your fucking mouth, bitch! You shut your fucking mouth, bitch! bitch. Loved it. So, so good. good. It's so good. Should we talk about her room? I mean, she's got this like day glow oh. hockey painting. Oh yeah, I don't easel. know what that is. I it's don't so know what that 80s. is. Like the yes. whole room is so, it's so 80s. 80s. All these pastels and white furniture, and you know the carousel horse, horse that we the rocking horse talk about. I guess. Oh my god. Go away. Then the eyes start to be real well, weird at first, and yeah, glowy. Just, and then it starts to like sort of articulate, you know, like do like, a little yeah, like, mouth moves or whatever. Yeah. And you're like, oh no, oh, oh what's this? Yeah. And then it has a tongue. That like sticks out and it's like. Bleh. Oh my god. I could have used way more of this carousel. Oh no, 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 no. I no, 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 loved no, no, no. it. No, 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 no. No. It was probably the creepiest thing in this entire movie. Ooh. Including when she makes out with her father in front of the horse. We will get into it. I have a lot of thoughts about that scene. Oh my god. Apparently she's an artist, We don't, but she's okay. drawn herself. A very terrifying oh, yeah. pencil drawing of herself. herself. She drops her pen. Oh no, I dropped my pen. Oh, you know, yeah. it's just like, right. oh, oh. let me go oh, pick it up. Oh, 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 yeah. You know, she like leans over. And, and then, I was like waiting for the horse to like show up on all fours. Like, ah. <laughs> I was waiting for it. She'd be like, let me get ya. The, po the picture then turns into a terrifying drawing of Mary Lou, yeah. and the horse comes alive, yeah. and she's being oh, pinned, pinned by the sheets. down by the sheets. Leave me alone! No! This is my room. And then she throws her radio down, and yeah. the parents come in, and they're like, what's going on? Okay, because Mary Lou also really likes to be in charge of which radio station is playing. Oh, yes. Mary Lou has to put on, and it's weird that the radio station that she turns to is always playing Hello Mary Lou! Blah, yeah, blah. I think she controls electricity in some ways. Sure. Because of things that happen oh, later. Oh boy. So I think oh, she was, you boy. know, there's lots of talks of the potato and the AM and the FM and radio waves and magic and dimensions. Sure. So I think she was, you know, like, maybe she was wooing it. Yeah. Oh my god, the gym class scene. Oh boy. All of the, I mean, no one's in the same outfit. Nope. Everyone's wearing just the most eight headbands, headbands, headbands. Yep. And Lots of volleyball. Volleyball! Volleyball! How come Angela gets to talk to the boys all day? And we have to play volleyball. And yeah, Martha? And Martha's coming! They're playing volleyball. Kelly, it's your it's it's Vicky's turn to oh, yeah. serve. She just chucks it at her face yeah. and is, knocks Vicky unconscious with the volleyball. Yeah. Vicky goes to the bad place. She goes to the bad place to the Costume trunk dimension. Yeah. Wow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And everyone's now matching. Yes. Poopy. And I love the spider web volleyball net. Oh yeah, she like falls back into the, the volleyball net that turns into a spider web that wraps her up. And the <laughs> spider web just looked like these drawn out bats that April made. It was like, oh, that's just it. paper. It looked okay. <laughs> Oh, no. Well, that's what I'm saying. You did a really good job oh, with the thanks. bats. Oh, thanks. Oh, it's so cute. Um, no, it reminded me of Dracula Dead Loving. Well, if he, he went through it, I guess I could. Yeah. Oh, you know. <laughs> Oh, oh, be there in just a minute. Oh. 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 Oh, dear. Lots of fun visuals. Sure, yes. So we have to get into Father Cooper. Mm -hmm. He goes to Michael Ironside's house. Yes. And tries to convince him that Mary Lou is back. Yeah. And this is when we really get to see Vicky's boyfriend's dirt face. Oh my god. Because he's there, but he's not great. He, he's whatever. I mean, I like that she just had like a nice, sensible, stable yeah. boyfriend. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like I like. They were a cute couple. They it was were like a couple. Oh, this is nice. You guys seem like you have they something to do. They seem to have on. life plans. Well, you know? their life plans were to not go to college. I'm not saying that they were good life, but you sure. know, they had talked. They had mm -hmm. open mm -hmm. conversation about their future. Mm -hmm. You know, they seemed to be in a good place. Sure. Even with their crazy parents. Yes. You know. Yeah. But he goes to Michael Ironsides, and he, this is like the weird where they try to like give some sort of exposition for what's actually happening. Somehow her spirit has come back from the grave and she will come after you and me. She will enter your body and possess you, her murderer. He's talking about purgatory and she's come back for revenge and well, she can't touch me. I'm, I'm a, a priest. priest. She can't touch me. 
I'm a priest. Here, take this cross. <laughs> It'll save you. <laughs> that will It doesn't save him. No. I do like that whole theme that religion won't save you from your bad past, deeds. from your bad deeds. Usually it's just like, oh, religious guilt, like in horror movies, you know what I mean? Like, right. oh, you're a slut, so you have to die. Like yeah. a lot of it is like, well, I'm the pious virgin, so I get to survive at the end of the movie right. or whatever. And this didn't really do that. Not at all. Like, if anything, you're like, yes, be a slut. Like Mary Lou is like yeah. encouraging everyone, just like, be you, girl. Yes, I loved every second of it. You know, it's just sure. living in it. Sure. I appreciated that. Well, and then gets real labyrinthy in detention. Oh when, like, boy. The, when the chalkboard starts to write "Help yeah. me" backwards, and Vicky's really starting to. And so then she goes and walks up to it. Oh, what's going on? And then and the, these the hands. hands, like from labyrinth, yeah, are, like, grabbing her, and she's like, ah, and then it just becomes a pool. A pool. A black pool of swirling. Ah, ah. And then there's like, then there's like the random wrong letters. letters. Like C is there. Yeah. So you're like, wait, but that wasn't written on the board before. Yeah. Come on, guys, get it together. Why would that be there? Who's writing help me? Maybe those are souls trapped in purgatory. And she is now like connected to purgatory because Mary Lou is inside of her. Maybe. At this point, Mary Lou is pretty much taken over. Oh, Mary Lou is 100% taken over. And she goes to the confessional. We get a second oh, confessional yeah. scene. And she, oh, I have had impure thoughts about my boyfriend, I've had this, I've had this. Will you pray for me? Yes. Will you fuck me? Will you fuck me? <gasps> and then the like confessional booth that's just made of graham crackers or oh, something. Oh yeah, she's it's just, just like, like, like ah! Well, you know, she has like supernatural powers. Sure. So, sure. makes sense. But it just like Yeah, she just destroys like... it. There's no God, buddy. And there's no heaven. And do you know what pissed me off the most? No fucking wings! There was just a lot of great one-liners in this movie, I thought. But then she has, she's full Mary Lou, she's dressing like it's the 50s, oh it becomes Susie Q all of a, a sudden, little bit. right? She's yeah. like... And everyone's so upset by her outfit. Oh yeah, they're so and I would, upset. And I would say it's an improvement. Right? For her, whole her look, previous outfit. Her whole look was an improvement. Wow, fashion crime. What did you do? Beat up the bag lady? Her hair was now crimped. Oh boy. Oh boy, the crimped hair. Oh boy, this scene. Oh my god. Okay, well, this is... So, so, so then they're like showering? They're in the locker room, Vicky yeah. and her best friend, mm -hmm. and she's like, what's wrong with you, Vicky? You've been acting really weird. weird. They're fighting over the radio station. Oh, right. Because... Because Mary Lou has to have, have her, Mary Lou on you know, her fifties tracks playing, yeah. and it seems like she's going to confront her mm -hmm. or basically get in the way of Mary Lou winning prom queen. Sure, essentially, sure. It's pretty petty. Look, Vicky, you need help. I'm gonna go find Craig and tell him, and maybe he can get it through to you. She needs to win prom queen, April. This scene is fascinating because, in a way, it's not portrayed as sexual? No. You know what I mean? Like, so basically they're both in the locker room and her friend goes to take a shower and then Vicky as Mary Lou sort of walks in on her and starts to kind of flirt with her and kiss her and oh hey what's yeah. going on? And I think what's happening is Mary Lou, her only, I mean she has supernatural powers but like her greatest weapon is her sexuality, sure. right? So she's like, oh I'll sex her. Yeah. And she'll like leave me alone, but, mm -hmm. you know, like, oh, mm -hmm. and then we'll get into it and then we'll just have a sexy time in yeah. the shower. And she's just, I mean, she's just here for it. Yeah. I mean, Mary Lou's here for everybody. Oh, sure. She she's, just wants it all. She's, she's just, just hungry yeah. for it. Yeah. <laughs> Vicky, what are you doing? Vicky? Oh my God, her friend gets so freaked out and it's just like, oh my God, get what away from doing? doing, Vicky? Oh my God. And running through this locker room, yeah. just oh. like, ah. Oh, thank you. Oh my god. Meanwhile, Vicky is just fully, fully nude. nude. Broad daylight, fully nude. But it's not in a section. It's no. I mean, obviously she's naked, but it's not she, like honestly, it's a power move. Crazy power move. Her mannerisms reminded me of Sleepaway Camp. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's all I'll say. Don't wanna spoil anything except go watch Sleepaway Camp. Yep. But yes, it was very much a power move. It yeah. was not like, oh, I'm showing my tits. Right, no. Look no, at my tits. No. It was just, I don't even give a fuck. And her friend hides in the locker. And you were sad. You were sad about this one. I was. Well, because she didn't do anything. No, not she really. She didn't deserve to die. No, but she fucked with Mary Lou. Uh, there you go. Don't I guess, fuck, don't with, fuck Mary with Mary Lou. She's got 30 years of pent up rage. There you go. She's got to win 
prom she queen. She has to win prom queen. But this really made me laugh. She's hiding in the locker room. Vicky, you know, walking to, finds her and just goes, a womp ba ba loo ba. A womp ba ba loo ba ba womp bam. The lockers crush Crushed. together and strawberry milkshake pours out. And, oh no! <laughs> Not Monica! No. Oh no, Monica! And no one finds her body. Nope. Because the, the out of order sign. Right. No one checked. Not even the janitor. Well, then she takes boyfriend Craig upstairs to well-lit costume attic with the shades and all of yeah, that. Yeah, where was this? Like, the prop room. Starts making out with him and go, Grabbing grabs his him crotch and, and she's like, don't you know how to make this work? Yeah, yeah. And he's like, what's wrong with you, crazy? She has no patience, Mary Lou. Mm -mm, no. None whatsoever. Mm -mm. She she's just like needs to get it. Yeah. Immediately. Give it to me. It's not in Norton. Don't you know how to use this thing? And we go into like a dream sequence. Yes. But we don't know it's a dream sequence no. yet. No. She's in the car with him, and it looks like she is fully pegging him in the in the back of the car. Is that what was happening? I don't know, but that's what it looked like. There, ha there's like a shot where it's like zooming back, and he's like, like in the back of like, the car, ah! and she's behind him like, oh, interesting, her. right? I think it was more maybe more like terror. Yeah. But they're yeah. both naked, and I mean, the I, positioning... It took me the entirety of the scene to try and just piece anything that was happening together. I was so confused. It was a dream. But then it was a dream sequence, but I, it was just also confusing. Michael Ironsides is like, <gasps> No, Mary Lou is pegging my son! Right? Oh my god, I love it. Mary Lou kind of starts to reveal that her plan is to kill, like, punish Michael Ironsides by killing his son. Right. This is when Vicky comes into his office and starts seducing Michael Ironside. Oh, yeah. With the wide stance. Oh. Up on his desk, like she's just gonna piss on his face. Basically. And then she's straddling Michael Ironside. There was a lot of like, oh, no! Like, the, the scariest stuff in this movie was like what it was doing with sexuality yes. and like adults and, and minors assault, and yeah. religion and assault. Yeah. Like it was all swirling around. It was that all was swirling like around. the scariest stuff in it and I don't know if that's intentional at all or if it's completely happened to Angel. It pushed little buttons where you're like, ooh, oh, oh, ooh, that was yeah. further than I thought you were gonna go. Ah! You wouldn't let me wear my crown, really. Which we can, we, we, talk, we should talk about it. Okay. Oh boy. I think it's time. Oh boy. So then Vicky Mary Lou <laughs> is uh, back in the room with the creepy demonic horse. Riding. Just riding the horse and, and stroking its- Stroking its disgusting long tongue. I kind of wanted her to make out with the carousel horse, I'll be honest. <laughs> oh my god. And then the dad comes in and is just like, oh, I'm not going to pay attention to this creepy horse. You look beautiful. Your mother and I thought we were the best looking couple at our prom. I remember when your mother and I went to our first Rom. I had my first job repossessing cars. Like he's like having a full reminiscent monologue. It was like an our town monologue. It was I like what is happening? It was. I thought you were gonna say it was like an hour. Oh, it was. It was been like forever. I was yes. like, what is this? Like the most lines the dad has ever yes. had. Spent my first paycheck buying your mother a corsage and a ring. And I had to wear my father's tux. <laughs> I mean, this is insane. Yes. Vicky walks up to him, her father in the film, and starts making out with him. And he does not pull away. Hold me, Daddy. He's not like, oh my god, Vicky, what are you doing? Why are you making out? He's like, oh, I'm. what's this, kissing? It's like as if it, the wife hasn't kissed him in 30 right. years, whatever. It's yeah. Like, oh, oh. Ah, ah, ah. and they kiss for so long and it's so uncomfortable and it upsetting. really is and then the mom walks in on them and they're still making out what are you doing and she just goes you jezebel like that's her response to like incest between her daughter and her husband <gasps> jezebel jezebel harlot it's crazy. It's like next level yeah. insane. Yeah. I like mean, you'd I... think the carousel horse would be the craziest part of the scene. It is not. It's not. It's not. So Vicky goes to prom. Uh, boyfriend is still 
unconscious because Michael yes. Ironside's knocked him out because he's trying to protect him. Yes. Creepy potato nerd is like taking pictures, remember? Yeah. And then he takes oh. a picture of Vicky Mary Lou and it like glows white. Like, yeah. she, like it, oh, and then her entire body. I guess it's because like she's it's like possessed. possessed. But then you'd think that would be like a thing that he's like, wait, what? she's not even. Exactly. Because later she's in the photo. Yeah. But it would have been cool if, if it was Mary Lou that showed up. He developed it and it was Mary Lou. And he was like, what? what? That would have been yeah. cool. And yeah. it's such an easy thing to do. Exactly. Like, just have it develop in the dark and, room. <gasps> so, the prom is pretty fabulous. I'm not going to lie. Oh my There's god, lots of like, light lights? installations. I was like, yeah. It looked fab. Yeah. And the key, there's so much talk about the. The computer election. You have to rig the computer oh my election. God. So for the, Kelly for goes prom down. Queen, for prom queen. And he's like, you know my price. And so she's like. Well, first he, so he goes in and there's like an old timey computer, but he opens it and it's a refrigerator. I loved that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. He is all bummed out because. Right. Monica. Monica, his date. Stood him up. So, yeah. She's raspberry milkshake in the locker room. I'm sorry. God. But yes, he's all upset. And Kelly comes down in her ladybug dress. Who won? I'm not supposed to tell. It wasn't you. You knew my price. So then she like unzips his pants, unbuttons. Yeah, unbuttons. The many buttons on his pants. And gives him a blowjob. Yeah, it was, you know, gross. It was. Yeah. Yeah. You know, sexual blackmail. Not really no. a, a, a hot thing. No, it wasn't hot for no. sure. No. no. Craig then calls Vicky's house. Yes. Mary Lou speaking. Sorry, I can't come to the phone right now, but I'm busy at the prom. Places to go, people to kill. <laughs> Don't bother leaving a message. Vicky doesn't live here anymore. Places to go, people to kill. kill. Anyway, if you're looking for Vicky, don't bother. She doesn't live here anymore. anymore. Or you're like, when did she do this and what is happening? Right. She did it with her magical electric controls. See? See? Oh boy, because yeah, because then potato nerd. So, she. <laughs> He changes the winner. Right. Because he got his blowjob. And then, oh my gosh, he's like, winner is Kelly. Yeah. And so Vicky Mary Lou yeah. grabs a cable yeah. going plugged into something. It looks like an electrical wire. It's you know? like from a lamp. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And she's like, mm-mm. And then it shows up on the screen. Wrong. Dead, Dead wrong. wrong. Like and she then, had to type it out. I don't even know. And then it just starts electrocuting uh, his face through. And oh my god, it was a lot. It was it a lot. Melts his face. Oh, it made me laugh. I was like, oh, now it's a different movie. Like, a different movie. The whole thing with with slasher movies is you want creative kills, right? Yes. Just stabbing someone, or just you know, it's like it gets boring after a while, sure. which is horrifying in itself but like that's what you want and there's so many creative kills yes. in this movie i guess i just wish mary lou had more of a perspective you watch the movie and you're like oh i want this movie to be about mary lou but the movie thought it was about like michael ironsides you know and you're like well no that's not <laughs> that's what i not, yeah that's not what i want no she kills him because he was standing in the way of her getting her crown. But that's yeah. so boring to me. Yeah. Whereas if it was like she kills him via computer death because he took advantage of, of Kelly. Of Kelly, yeah. You know, it was like, like she's out for like revenge for like yeah. evil men taking exactly. advantage of like Exactly. And it's like let women be sexual, but not yes. but it's like she ruined that aspect by killing the pregnant girl. I know. Rather than killing the guy who didn't answer, like exactly. wouldn't that be good? That would have been great. Like you know, we like she calls him again on the phone or whatever, and yeah. then we, like uh -huh. you know, he's like, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Like, you know, I don't know. I, like, the, yes! the, the phone just strangles him, and he's like, oh, yeah. you know? it's like, oh no. Good thing I wrote this insurance policy out to Jess for her baby's <laughs> college fund. Yay! Yay, Mary Lou! Yeah! <laughs> yes. Yeah. But we didn't talk about just how much glitter was in Kelly's hair. Oh my god. It was just like a frickin' disco ball. It was so stiff. Oh yeah. Too. You touch it, it doesn't move. No, it's just a solid glitter headpiece. I spent $64 on my hair today. If you mess it up, I'll kill you. Vicky wins. Yep. And we know that it's Mary Lou because she has the same pissing stance oh of a winner. And meanwhile, Michael Ironside, we keep seeing him like very slowly progressing and making his way up to the rafters, yeah. paralleling the first scene. Yep. Craig, meanwhile, has woken up from being knocked and unconscious. And he's running through running this MC through Escher High School. Upstairs, downstairs, downstairs, over here, over there. Oh my there. god, down this hall, up the hall, over the hall. Like, Maybe Mary Lou was doing that. 
Maybe. Was, maybe she was MC I mean, I would have liked it. it if they had actually like leaned in. That would have been really cool if it was just like, he's like, where? <gasps> I already went up this. <gasps> oh, no. You know, he's like, it's like the Winchester mystery house. He's like, those stairs go to nowhere. Ah! You know, he's just like sure. wandering around, getting lost. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Maybe I we should remake this, this movie. <laughs> but leave the carousel horse. Oh, God. So, Michael Ironside, you're kind of sitting there going, is he just going to shoot her in front of everyone? Is he going to... And then he fucking fire? shoots her in front of everyone. He fucking just shoots her right in the chest, doesn't leave. Someone's like, hey, Principal Hamilton, whatever. Right. Look at the Raptors. You know, they're like, oh, wait With a, a gun. He shot her. Like, he doesn't <laughs> run away. Maybe but he then, wants to get caught. But then... Oh, God. So Craig runs in. No, Vicky! Yeah. No, and, oh, my God. I mean, this is so fucking fabulous. This <sighs> zombie arm bursts through her chest. Yeah. And then she is birthed out yeah. of Vicky's body yeah. into this horrifying burned zombie person. Yep. yep. It looks fabulous. Yeah. And Craig is like, no! right. Oh. And so then she starts carrying everybody at the prom. Yeah. You know, like everyone starts dying. I think. I think. Kelly's death is the worst. Oh my god. Uh. uh. Mary Lou is absorbing everyone's life force. And half burned Mary Lou is chasing Craig through everywhere. Everywhere. And there's this creepy like gate that they keep going through. Into the closet, into the, into the costume prop costume basement. archive closet place. He run, so he runs down there and wide stance backlit Mary Lou just yeah in her in, in, in her the, Mary Martin stance. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah, she's like right, right there. there. Ah! Ah! It's good. He's wandering around, and then there's a sarcophagus. Where'd that come from? This school has it all. I guess. Haunted costume trunk, <laughs> sarcophagi. <laughs> and then they make it back to the uh, haunted costume trunk dimension. Yes. And he's being sucked in. Sucked in. And there's so much tool. Oh, so, so much, much tool. tool. <laughs> Mary Lou. <gasps> oh, she's such a simple bitch sometimes. Right? And so then now that she has the crown on her, we think that she's just relegated back into the trunk or it's unclear. Well, no, I mean, so, yeah, you think that. So yes. you think they kind of go back in time and it's like, oh, they're back at prom and oh, God, oh right. Because he kisses her. Oh, right. And they have like a moment. She has a crown and she yeah. got everything she wanted. Yeah, she's at peace. She's at rest. Yeah. Because she has the tiara. Oh my god. It's a little rude. It's very rude. You know what girls like? Tiaras. Plastic jewelry. She's a pretty, pretty princess now. She doesn't even care. Oh my god. Female of the and then it cuts away and her grave explodes. Oh yeah! And... And then we come back and... To the, co the costume trunk. Craig? Craig? Help me! It's Vicky! And we've already seen Mary Lou trick him before. Yeah, yep, but I was this. like, you better be careful, bro. Bitch. But so he opens it up and Vicky is there covered in placenta? She's covered I'm in not sure. ectoplasm. Right? Like, oh, where was I? Oh, Even though her body was like ripped in half. Right? Oh my god. And then he's Craig? like, how do you take your coffee? With sugar? No. no that that's stuff will kill you. you. <gasps> oh, it oh, is you. It is you. Oh, oh my god. Nonsense. Made it. And then they run away, they run out of the school, yeah. and then there's his dad. And I was like, fuck you, Michael Ironside, yep. you should be in purgatory you, with Mary Yeah, Lou. you should be dead at this point. I was like, fuck this, yeah. no, I yeah. was mad about it. I was too, and then, oh my god, then he turns into the cab driver from Halloween Town. <laughs> <laughs> They're playing our song. She have time to get that printed. <laughs> she can just control everything. You know. <laughs> Supernatural, license plate changing. I don't know. I her don't powers. know. powers. The range of her powers. Right. And now what are we supposed to, like, like, what does that mean? So I think Michael Ironsides is in purgatory. Okay. Now. They, like, switched places. They switched places. I don't know why, because Mary His Lou, soul is in purgatory. Yes. I don't know why. Mary Lou was so obsessed with having, like, a sexy body. Right. So I'm like, well... She's gonna have to possess somebody else at yes. this point because, you know, Michael Ironsides is not what she's looking for. No. And so, you know, I guess she's just gonna keep haunting them. Yeah. 
Not sure. I don't know. I kind of wish that in our changed version, right, where Mary Lou is this feminist yes. slash, like, sex-positive person. Yes. Also, maybe a nymphomaniac. Because that's kind of what we got from her. 100%. So then I like the idea that she possesses, like, this super hot, like, woman's body uh -huh. and just goes on, like... It's a prequel to teeth. I mean, basically. Where it's just, like, this nymphomaniac killing rampage of all of the evil men. It's just like, oh, you know, rapist creepy dude, you're dead now. This movie has its problems for sure, but I think there's so many interesting choices. Yep. I think part of that has to do with, like I said before, that filmmakers really do love horror movies and stuff, which is evident because I was reading about it, a bunch of the characters' names, the last names of the characters, are all named after horror directors. So there's like uh, John Carpenter, mm. Joe Dante, uh, Wes Craven, Todd Browning, George Romero, like there's a whole bunch of them. Yes. And even John Waters is one of them that he lists, and Frank Henenlotter, who is a lesser known like cult horror movie director uh, who did like Basket Case and Frankenhooker and he did that brain damage movie I was telling you about oh, yeah. like the alien penis like brain eating <laughs> we could get into it <laughs> there's so much so so much oh, sing Elmer's tune. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, hello, Brian. How are you? How are you doing? There's a lot yeah. to unpack in this a lot movie. To unpack. There's a lot of interest. Yeah. Where I've seen so many horror slasher movies that are just like, and then that was boring. Yeah, it's like basic. This was not basic. No. So that's from me too. Hello, Mary oh Lou. Oh my god. I wholeheartedly recommend it because I just think it's, it's a fun time. wacky bananas. You can have some witches brew and be like, what the fuck is this? Some bitches brew. Some bitches. Some weach brew. Yes, <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> This movie, you need the Weach Pro, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. You shut your fucking mouth, you <laughs> bitch! Cheers. You shut your fucking mouth, bitch!